What's going on, Aries? And thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, guys. So let's jump right into your love reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Now, I hope you guys have been well. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aries signs. And just keep in mind, guys, that the energy here could be transferable. So it could be your energy that I'm picking up on or the energy of someone around you. All right. What is the general energy around the sign of Aries? November 2020. So we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse that came out. We have the Two of Coins. We have the Nine of Coins in the reverse. I mean, Nine of Wands in the reverse. Ten of Coins in the reverse. Star card. And then we have the Tower card in the reverse here. Okay, so the energy, guys, is the Nine of Swords. So there's definitely a lot of worry around something because I feel that someone has a strong desire, but there's a balance that needs to be made. There could be someone that maybe can take different directions when it comes to love, and they're trying to find out which one is the best. So they're kind of like juggling that. Um, it could just be someone, again, trying to find balance because of something that they desire because I feel like there's been a lot of loss, a lot of fighting. Um, and it's like, there's something with a huge burden that is released and future bullets are dodged, okay? But I feel like it's tough because again, there's that desire for something, but then there's also the conflict that comes with it. So it's like juggling between the two, between the love and between the hate, okay? So yeah, there's a lot of worry around this. For some of you, maybe you're dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Or for some of you, someone is just being very cold, whether it's you or someone around you. Okay? I feel like it was seen that there was something in your life where either you or someone around you was being very dishonest. Or that you or the person you were dealing with, at least like one of you felt like, hey, I can't truly be myself. Okay? So let's say it's like, just for example, the person you're dating is very serious into the book and, you know, just very quiet and, you know, studious. And you're loud and your friends and you are obnoxious when you get together. So it's like you bring your friends over and they have like a panic attack because they don't know how to handle all of it. So it could be something like that. Okay. You know, where you realize like, hey, this person's having a panic attack and I just want to have fun. Let's pull three more cards here. Six of coins. Queen of coins in the reverse. Page of coins in the reverse. What's interesting, guys, is that this loss brings you balance. Okay? I feel like whether it's you or someone around you, someone is just very tired. It's like someone has tried everything that they could to get something going but it just wasn't so it's like all right let's let's just stop all the craziness okay i think that you truly find peace within yourself and a good path for yourself once you get to the point where you realize you don't you no longer accept something in your life or even if this is someone not accepting something from you it still pushes you in the right path okay so there's a lot of clarity as to what's going to work and what's not all right guys so <clears throat> Don't mind my voice. I've been like working on my throat, guys, because I'm um, just getting used to the weather change from Florida to New York. But we're going to do this as if it were a dialogue. So we're going to look at your end of things, how you're looking at, you know, this other person. And then we'll look at their end of things and we'll keep going back and forth. Now, if you guys have absolutely no prospects, it's like you're 125% single, then it could be someone who's coming in or maybe just an energy that you're dealing with or an energy that you're like not over. Okay, but at the end, guys, um, I will do advice for those who are single, those in a relationship, those in a gray area, and then those who date the same sex. All right, 
So let's start with the airy side of things. How are you guys viewing everything? And this had flipped, so we have the full card. Sorry, my hair, I'm, I'm like shedding, guys. The Magician in the reverse. The Sun card in the reverse. Let's get at least three more just to start here. Ten of coins. Nine of coins in the reverse. I'm the hanged man. I truly feel like a lot of you benefit from a brand new start. Okay. Um, where there may have been some sort of unfortunate circumstance that happened. And I feel like it threw things off in a way that you or someone else did not expect. But when you get to that point where you're really honest about your needs and you're really true to yourself and what you know you need that's when something starts for you that i feel can be very healthy whether it's with someone new if you're leaving someone behind um or just a healthy life in general guys love doesn't always have to be with someone else you you have to love yourself too um but here again i'm seeing someone benefits from a completely new start and the energy that you guys want and the energy I see you guys going for is the one of least resistance, okay? So where can you truly be yourself and not have all this tension coming at you, you know, and people throwing all these wands at you? So how do you get to that point? Because I think that with some aspect of who you're dealing with, um, there's a lot of blockages here. There's a lot of manipulation here. Okay, so Spirit says you definitely benefit from taking a whole new approach. If you guys can't stay with somebody and change the entire dynamic of the relationship, you know, I don't see things going in a way where it'll be conducive for you, where you can grow with this person in a healthy way. I'm just getting comfortable, guys. My shoes are so tight. I'm a size three and a half in boys. So I have like a child's foot. But, um... Yeah, you guys really benefit from whatever path is going to give you a breath of fresh air um, because there's a lot of depleting energy here, okay? Whether it's you or them, it's like you're viewing this whole thing as very depleting. All right, so how are they viewing you? Ten of swords in the reverse. Temperance card in the reverse. So it's like you feel like they may be blocking you. So let's see what their response is to that. We have the Hermit card. The Cherry in the reverse. Two of Coins in the reverse. And guys, keep in mind that I intend for this to be the Aries sign and this to be the Cross Watcher. And when I say that, guys, um, some people don't... Uh, I thought everyone underst understood what it meant. But what I mean by it is... Let's say you're um, an Aries and you're watching a cancer video because you're in love with a cancer. You watching that video makes you a cross watcher. Now, if you're watching your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, then you're not cross watching. That's part of your chart. So that's that's you for the, you, the viewer. Okay, cross watcher is someone else being nosy about someone else. Okay, that's how at least I intend for it. Okay, but um, like I said. I intend for this to be your side, I intend for this to be theirs, but it could be reversed in some cases, so keep that in mind. Okay, so there's a strong injustice that this person is experiencing, seeing, or feeling, okay? And honestly, guys, they're in a place that they feel they have no control of this anymore, like, that they can't control the outcome, that the worst that could have happened, you know, has already happened. But I feel like their soul is not at ease around this for whatever reason. And they're probably in a place where they're removing themselves if they haven't already. So I see this person feeling like they have more balance if they end things. Because they just feel like shit is out of control. Okay? We can never control what a person does. We can only control how we react. 
So I feel like that's the lack of control that they feel. Not that they want to control you. Um, it's just they can see that maybe a certain way you guys go about things may not be healthy for them. And who are they to change who you are or to change, you know, uh, what, what they need to do, you know? But I feel like even if a person's removing themselves and they feel like that the worst that could have happened has happened, it's not without saying that they're not really upset. Okay, so I feel like there is a lot of hurt here. Let's go back to your end towards them. We have the Five of Swords. You feel like there is a lot of conflict that's involved in this. Ace of Swords, it's like, look, it's time to just cut out all this bullshit. It's time to start new. Six of Swords in reverse, even if it's the hardest thing I ever had to do. Okay. So it's like you're trying to work through this, but it's like you, you can't get this off your mind. And whether it's you or them, someone's being very, very cold. For some of you, this there could have been a drastic change due to a third party situation. Maybe somebody was caught cheating. Okay. But you realize, you know, you guys or them is realizing, look, there's just too much illusion here. Well, what about them? Nine of Cups in the reverse. We have the Page of Wands. All right, let me get one more. We got two more here. Hierophant in the reverse, Knight of Swords in the reverse. They're really upset, you know. And with the Page of Wands, this, this it's not that this is a bad card at all, okay? This means a lot of great things. But in this case, when it comes to love and around all these cards, this is something that can be painted very beautifully. Something that can sound very good. Something that can look very good. But it's like that's all it is. It's more of like a lustful sort of thing because they feel like there's a lot of recklessness here. Um, I feel like this person is very unhappy about, you know, something that may have gone down. And with the Hierophant in the reverse, this is a strong sentiment to feel because, you know, no bullshit. And I, I never like to sugarcoat. But it's like this person feels like they they won't accomplish what they're meant to accomplish just in life, just within themselves, um, if they remain in this, okay? It's like we're, we're all born and we have that feeling of like, what's my purpose? What am I meant to do? And we spend our whole life searching for it. And as we get older, we feel when things are in alignment with what's going to get us there, okay? With what's going to make us reach our, our ultimate potential. And in this case, I don't know what went down, but they feel like now they won't get to that point if this interaction stays, at least for now, all right? So we'll do three more cards on each side, and then we'll get into the advice portion. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Tower card. Yeah, I think there there was foul play here, guys, that drastically changed things. So it's like, look, we're better off just, you know, starting our own new chapters, okay, separately. And then towards you, last three cards. Ten of Cups in the reverse. Three of Coins in the reverse. They're really unhappy about this. You know, they're, they're definitely suffering. Despite all the crazy hecticness, there's still strong love. There's still a strong bond. Just because someone does, you know, something fucked up, whether it was on your end, their end, or both ends, it doesn't mean you stop loving them overnight, okay? And that's the hardest part about things, where it's like, you know what the healthy direction is, but your heart is telling you something else, okay? So, yeah, there's a lot of burden that's being felt here. And I feel like on both ends, there's pain and there's, like, disruption. But ultimately, what you guys both want is peace. And... It, you know, it, it might not be with one another, okay? And there's there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, you know, one more thing that won't work for you. So you can check that off the list and go about your way and find what does, all right? Okay, guys, so we're going to do general advice. This is going to be for all Aries first, and then we'll move into the individualized ones. And if this is resonating with you guys, there's a link in the description below to donate. All right. General advice for all Aries. And guys, I am on uh, Twitter, Bruja Shit. You can also find me on Instagram, High Vibrations 44 
The spelling for all of that is in the description below. Knight of Cups. So maybe a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that some of you are dealing with. Three of Coins. Nine of Wands in the reverse. You're emotionally more balanced when you let go of a heavy burden. Um, and honestly, I feel like it's, it's at a point where something can't happen because at least one of the parties are not genuinely invested anymore. All right. Um, for a few of you, it could just be that money was so bad and it drove you away from a person as well. But I feel like a lot of greatness comes in once you end a chapter. Why is this Nine of Cups here? Nine of Swords. Why is this Three of Coins here? The Empress card. And why is this Nine of Wands in the reverse? We have the Nine of Cups. And we have the Emperor in the reverse. Even though there's something that you guys aren't over, maybe someone that's not over you, I just, you know, Spirit is saying it shouldn't be accepted because there's a lot of loss that comes from it. There's a lot of untrustworthy energy here, okay? So it's like there's only happiness here when someone is really being fake and hiding who they are because if they were to be 100% transparent and show their truth, okay, there wouldn't be so much happiness in the room. So I do feel like you guys really start building in a strong um, way. But it can't be by going back to what hurt you or you going back to a person who you may have hurt beyond like fix at this point. Okay. All right. So let's start with my single Aries first. What is the advice here? Ten of Cups in the reverse. Eight of Swords in the reverse. So there's something that was seen, and I think that it brought someone, you know, a lot of pain or unhappiness. Okay, you guys got quite a few. Um, we have the Page of Swords. Four of Wands in the reverse. Devil card. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Very clear, guys. Um, what's the energy? Page of Wands, Five of Swords, King of Wands. It sounded good, it looked good, okay? But it wasn't successful. Um, there's something here where you're dissatisfied with how something worked out or someone's dissatisfied. Um, but there's a lot of toxic energy here, guys. And I feel like someone had, like, someone saw something so sketchy, okay? Or something that was so wrong, where now it's like they're so cold that it feels like they're dead. Like, this is a person, they will block you in every way, shape, and form. Like, they'll they'll even go as far to go to all their family's phones and block you there. You know, say so you ain't getting through to me, you're, you're not getting through to any of my people. Like, you're just done. Don't make any fake accounts, it's not going to work. Like, this is a person who is hell-bent on not continuing with something after they saw the truth of something. So I see having to face the truth, Okay and saying I, I can't be in this because of this truth. So I think that it's a good thing that you chose the single route, okay? All right, so for those in the gray area, so maybe you've been dating someone, you don't know if you should take it to the next level, or maybe you got in a fight and you're on a break. What is the advice? We have the two of cups in the reverse. Queen of Coins in the reverse. I feel like someone is exhausted. Someone is burnt out. We have the Ten of Cups. Five of Pentacles. High Priestess in the reverse. Justice card and the Empress card. You guys know that deep down there's something very karmic here. There's something that your spirit was always warning you against. 
okay? So you become much happier when you release this, okay? If it's in the gray area at this point, the answer is no, okay? This was definitely something karmic, all right? Something that may have started fast, it might have been hot, heavy, passionate, but then it just falls out, okay? But you dodge a bullet and great things come into your love life with letting this go. All right. But yeah, you were definitely dealing with a karmic situation where you're supposed to learn from it. You're not supposed to stay in it. All right. So what about my Aries in a relationship? Five of Swords, the Moon card in the reverse. No matter what or what group of people I'm, I'm pulling cards for, it keeps saying the same thing. Something comes to light and someone's like, hell no. Okay, I'm gonna take the one card that flipped because a lot came out. It was the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So yeah, some what happens in the dark comes out in the light, honestly. That's really what I'm feeling. Something was just revealed. Where's my pen? Just want to write something down for me later. Okay. We have the four of wands in the reverse, eight of wands in the reverse. Queen of swords in the reverse. Yeah. Something's revealed. And it's just like you feel so much instability. If you're not breaking up with the person, then you're definitely saying, look, you, you need to give me some time. Don't call me. None of that. Like, this is insane. So I feel like someone is very protective because they're very hurt over something. Okay. You're realizing that something isn't the path for you. So again, if it's not you falling out of this relationship, then it could be something like, hey, you were drinking so heavily and we were fighting and, and it's not you. And your new path could be being healthy, waking up early, working out. Okay, being more present. You know, staying away from vices. But something new needs to happen or else, you know, this is going to be a fallout. So if you truly don't want to lose this, um, then there needs to be a drastic change. Because it's not going to work the way it's been going. All right, so for those who date the same sex, five of cups in the reverse, king of coins in the reverse. Five of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Three of Wands in the reverse. Two of Swords. Hanged Man reversed. Something was very forced here. Um, I think that a huge problem you may have had with someone is someone's indecisiveness. Okay. But. I feel like there's something that you're viewing where you're just like, look, this isn't coming naturally to me anymore. It feels very forced for me. And I feel like this is your energy, but it could be someone else's. I'm just saying that because I'm reading for the Aries energy. Um, but someone's just completely unbothered. Like someone's just like, eh, I wasn't that into this anyways. Okay. King of Coins in the reverse, that's someone who's very nonchalant. That's someone who comes out, uh, comes around out of convenience, not out of like genuine love. All right. So there's going to be something that's communicated where someone's like, uh uh, when they cut it off. Because there's just too much bullshit here. So I'm going to take my L and I'm going to smoke it on my way out. Okay. So that's definitely the energy here. And that's what brings you stability and success and a new beginning. Okay. So someone was definitely blocking you guys. 
And there's a lot of strength that comes in when you let that go. Because it's keeping you, it's like it's keeping you stagnant, whatever this is. And it's going to be something that tries to reappear. Okay. Uh, for some of you, you're going back to a past lover. Okay. You're letting go of a current one for a past one. Um, but this will only apply if the past lover would be a healthy situation. So if you've been with them before, you know what they're about. You know if they can be healthy for you. Okay. Um, if it's someone that you know they come with a lot of bullshit, then, you know, take this with a grain of salt. Okay, guys? All right, so I love you guys so much. I will be back with your mid-month readings next. If you guys need your own personal reading, the link for my website is below, highvibrationswithliz.com, as well as the link to donate and as well as my social medias. Take care, guys.